Okay, let's start with a question. Just kind of get in the mood, you know? If Superman got into a fight with Batman, who would win? particularly wanted. Really, he didn't have much going for him. Except the people who knew him, who heard him, who tried new ways to be like him, who walked his journey with him. They knew. The rest of the world looked at him and said, Wimp! Today, Jesus is illustrating, he's offering us yet another way to practice being like him. I want to talk about how we need to be like Superman, instead of Superman being like Superman. And believe me, P.S., it's easier. 
Today, Jesus tells us what we, what we remind him of. Who remembers what we remind him of? Two things. I heard the deacon say it. Yeah. <laughs> she said salt. Salt. And light. Exactly so. Salt and light. So we remind Jesus of salt. I wonder why. What does salt actually do? It preserves, that's true. Adds flavor to things. Makes things taste more like themselves. Unless you use too much, don't use too much. <laughs> So maybe what Jesus wants us to be is the kind of people who go around to help other people to be interesting and good, like salt, you know? Ever eat oatmeal without salt? I have a cat like that. She's just dead boring. <laughs> Put a little salt in it. Great. Okay. So maybe Jesus wants us to go around and help people be interesting and help people be good. Maybe Jesus is encouraging us to help people hold on to what is good in their lives to preserve it. We often think of that as Jesus' job. Jesus is saying, no, 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 that's your job. Oh, not what I expected. And we remind Jesus of light. Don't you love it? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean to be light? What does light do? Allows you to see. Huh? Allows you to see. Allows you to see. Turns away the darkness. Turns away the darkness. <clears throat> you guys are not you're, you're not used to answering questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Sorry, say again. Yeah? Yeah, he, he fights the enemies and he does good things. And how do we recognize him? It's Kate. Big red ass. Yeah, it's the suit, folks. It's the suit. Big red ass on his chest. You can see it a mile away. You know, he flies through the air with the cape and the blue lights and the big red S blue tights. Not blue lights, blue tights. And the big red S and that's Superman at his best. He's like light in the sky and we look at him and we get hope. But does he spend all his time that way? Yeah, sometimes, most of the time, he's pretending to be Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter. <laughs> why? So he doesn't reveal his identity. Yeah, but why, why doesn't he reveal his identity? Well, he doesn't have to do it. He wants to work with his wants to work with people and his his identity would keep him from from yeah. working with people. Uh, I'm not sure. Might intimidate him. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. he was just trying to have a different experience. He's yeah. an alien. He wants to be you know what it's like to be a human. He wants he wants to be a human and, and wants to look like a human. Maybe he wants to eat dinner in a restaurant once in a while without people coming from Hold on his Autographs, yeah. So, so bad guys don't know he's coming. And there's lots of reasons for him to masquerade. Clark Kent. <laughs> and they're all good reasons. But the truth is, most of the time, the blue tights and the red S are covered up. It's like putting a light under a bushel of dead. What would happen, do you suppose, if Clark Kent never changed into Superman? What if he always kept that tie around his neck and always kept that sport jacket on and never slipped into the phone booth ever?
Casey. These are the people I want to spend time with. Maybe even interesting. Maybe Jesus is encouraging us to help people hold on to what's good in their lives. And what does it mean to be light? It helps other people to see. It's help, it gives help, takes away fear. Reveals, takes away fear. Have you noticed how one little light in the darkness will make a huge difference? St. John says it when he says the light was in the darkness and the darkness could not overcome it. One light, darkness is banished. Jesus wants us to help other people to see, to share the goodness in ourselves with other people, help people to not be afraid. You notice the emphasis here is on what we do for them, not what we do for us. Jesus says, don't hide your light under a bushel. He says, let your light shine for everyone to see. Take the bucket off, okay? And the way we do that is to share the best part of ourselves with other people and let them see what is shining out in us and let them know that it could be shining out of them too. And that pretty much says it all for me. The only thing I think we need to know, along with how to be salt and how to be light, is that being Superman is not that difficult. It's not that hard. We have it all in us. Now, St. Paul says, when I came to you, I did not come proclaiming God in lofty words of wisdom. I came to you in weakness and fear and with much tremble. It reminds me of the way most of us approach the pulpit. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's a, it's a fearful responsibility. St. Paul says that he came this way on purpose so that we would immediately understand that it is God who is the strength, God who is the power, God who is worthy of love and relationship, and not Paul's own cleverness. Essentially, he's saying, look folks, I'm, I'm standing here, I'm acting like a simpleton, and even through my inarticulate dopiness, you can still apprehend the awesome power of Christ the mystery of God, the wonder of the universe. This is not smoke and mirrors. This is the real thing. It's God's power. I am just a messenger. During my years in ministry, I've had many mottos. And when I first came here, my motto was, let's talk about it. Because the people who were here were feeling unheard and unappreciated. Let's talk about it. Let me tell you what's good about it. <laughs> In other parishes and other circumstances, some of my mottos have included beneath the radar. <laughs> One of my favorites, don't ever stand between the muscle and the metatarsal. <laughs> if you know someone's going to shoot himself in the foot, don't. <laughs> One 
of my most important mottos was, I am merely the waiter. It is God who gives the meal. For all of us to be salt and light and brightness in the world, what we have to do is, oh, I love this part, what we have to do is relax and let God do the heavy lifting. Let God's essential goodness shine through us. It means, of course, also allowing God's essential goodness to affect our own lives as well as other people's. And that's why we need each other. But really, what we're called to do is carry the good news to each other, not to create it out of nothing. It's given to us. We give it away. We don't make it. Superman didn't find it difficult to be Superman. He was born that way. For him, flying was just as easy as walking. We are born to love God and to love each other. And when we relax and let God do the hard part, the rest is as easy as being ourselves. Remember, it is God who is the nourishing and wholesome meal. All we can do is bring it to the table and then sit down and enjoy it along with everyone else. This is the time for you to let yourselves shine.